what is good my fam how's everything going thanks again for watching i'm going to say thanks again for clicking thanks again to all of you that keep subscribing to the channel and keep watching our videos you have no idea how much i appreciate this but back to our scheduled program we're on our way over to our boys over at vcd now you know in the title that we're putting on an exhaust we don't know what type we'll see once we get there i'm pretty sure you guys know what we're getting but we're on our way like i said in my title i wasn't trying to give up too much of what we're doing but we got something special going on today that the boys at vcd are going to plug us up on the good old type r we've been super patient now it's time to get it done and i'm going to get right into what we're doing today We're not really here to install anything. We're just here to watch these these guys right here play fight all day. That's it. All right, we're ready here. We got the F1 qualifying ready. We got Lewis in uniform. We got the trusty free labor assistant going. We're about to start doing this exhaust setup. Remember the spoon exhaust does require for you to take off your front pipe. If you have a stock one, there is some extra steps you gotta do with it. But now that we are removing the PRL one and we're going with the spoon one, we're gonna see if there's any difference in it. I do wanna say the PRL one is wider just by the naked eye. Here we go. Just little status update on the RT660s. We've done three track events so far. I mean, we're kind of getting to the wear marks, but I still think we're good here. I mean, there's still plenty of meat left. Still looking good. These are the rear tires. We have rotated them once, and we are debating if we're gonna rotate them again. Because these are the front, and I think the front look Okay, minus this nastiness, but here, look, plenty of tread left. They're still good. Oil cooler still doing good down in here. This is the oil cooler line. Remember that. Yeah, we're gonna be removing this guy here. And we're gonna remove all this exhaust to the back. The boys of VCD here are gonna do us a favor, make it easy for us. That way we can Get in and out, but I can't wait. You ready? Yeah. All right, ready? Okay, we're removing the front pipe here. Super easy. Remember, when you have the stock one, it is a pain in the arse. And that's because you have to get in here. Yeah, let me get the light on. So there's two bolts. You can see them. It just pretty much just gives you flex, so you can like get this like inner liner it. Oh. Or you can just take the whole thing out. I mean, if you really wanted to. All right, yeah, so that, that's what gives this the flex. You can take out the stock one and you don't beat this thing up. Because otherwise you're gonna bend it and do all kinds of madness to it. So remember, you take this guy out, you take that guy out, gives it some play so you can get the front pipe off. And when you go PRL or anybody else, it's an easy fit in and out because you don't have all the extra big heat shield stuff that the stock one comes with. All right, boys, so now we're gonna go ahead and move into the money shot here and start taking off the stock exhaust. Remember on the Type R, it is one whole piece that comes out from the front pipe all the way back. All right, next step in removing the exhaust, you wanna pull these push pins out. This thing drops just like this, exposes the other mounts to the exhaust boys here just putting a little lube make sure everything comes out easy yep this is the in one shit stick with these guys torco for everything you need for your car from brake cleaner to lube pretty much anything <laughs> to lube <laughs> okay next step here is using a pry bar to remove these mounts again remember if you don't have the right stuff buy it or take it to someone who has all the right parts. Like our boys here at VCD. They'll get you in and out real quick. Oh, you just go to Snap-on. Or you go to your local Snap-on dealer. And just buy everything you need. 
buy everything you need, like he just said. All right, y'all, remember, you're gonna remove one, two, three, and four. Push four? Mounts, and then you're gonna remove two off the front here. You yeah. saw right there. Now. All broken. Yeah, all out. And remember, we've been having a nasty rattle in the stock exhaust. And we've had our cool. theories that this guy remember, here was busted. My, as soon as I put it on, I, my, my first render just broke. <laughs> yeah, and I think we're getting confirmation that that one's all broken. Sliding on in the uh, spoon front pipe. Can you, uh, can you take that ramen off right there? And again, the spoon front pipe definitely is smaller than the PRL not, one. You know what? It's not about it being smaller. It's about you know like it, it being you know the right size all the way. You know. Yeah, you know? it's, it's how you use it. You know, a spoon. You know, they. I'm pretty sure they engineered it. Yeah. I'm sure they know how and what they're doing. <laughs> Spoon does include all no, the, the new, new gaskets right? for the front, back. Now you know where I get it from. Okay. How tight is it, Morris? What? Is it is it tight or tight? Um, you go like tight. tight. That's tight. Well, we don't want to really talk about what happens at the track because that stays at the track. Now I asked Lewis on the order of install operation to the exhaust. He just suggested we go front pipe, resonator, mid, all the way to the exhaust canisters just to make it easy so you have the proper clearances. This is a three-piece exhaust, so he has said you can go from the rear forward, but it's just a lot better to go from the front back. <laughs> yeah, for real. I mean, a good point that he said as far as the installation on how you're gonna go. You can go either way you wanna go, but truth of the matter is if you don't have a lift, this is gonna take you a hot second. Just doing it like this will probably be done in the next 20 minutes, but if you're on the ground, on your jack stands. You're gonna be sitting under there with a the fucking tool sitting like this and be like, how, the f how do I get that in? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. He's making it a lot easier to put this guy in here. Again, Spoon does an excellent job of manufacturing the parts. Yeah, it is pricey. Again, just as equal as Mugen. Whoops. I meant Mugen. Is Mugen making an exhaust? Yeah, theirs is a full titanium one. I mean, yeah, why not? It probably sounds amazing though. Yeah, you know, but you know, it's got like a dual, like, Can this looks like a fighter jet. I thought that was the, the, the Tommy. No, it, it, yeah, I if you haven't seen it, it, it's it's like a fighter jet exhaust. It looks pretty dope though. All right, front pipe, resonator pipe installed. We're about to go with this. I don't know, I'm gonna call it a mid pipe. And then we're gonna go with the exhaust canisters. So far, so good. Again, nothing crazy with this exhaust. As far as that you're gonna see spoon logos no, 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 here, here, here's stuff my favorite part when I see people do this. They're like this and they're like, why doesn't it, why doesn't it? Oh, yeah, like this is like my favorite part when people do this. And then you're under the, obviously you're under there, and you're like... Trying to figure out how it works. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but I'm assuming... Like he doesn't even know where, how to go. <laughs> I'm I mean, not trying to figure it out. I mean, I'm assuming when you're underneath uh, the car, all this yeah, looks yeah, so yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. And you're gonna be you like... Know, yeah, oh. look, that, that's exactly it. <laughs> you gotta raise the car. Yeah, and you're gonna be like... I mean, it could go that way. Did they give me the right one? <laughs> <laughs> and if for a split second, you're, compl you're like really complicating to yourself to call them, to see if they gave you the right one. <laughs> yeah, the joke is you're doing it on a Saturday when they're closed. 
Yeah. And then no, no, no. Wear shorts on a Sunday because it's your only day off. Or, <laughs> or you can look at my video and watch how we're putting it on. How about that? That'll save you all the time in the world. We got our trusty labor assistant. He's no longer free holding the exhaust here. And again, once we're done with the install, I'll get into the specifics of how big the pipes are and all that. I'll also list it. I'll list the website so you guys can also look at GoTunes specifications and all their deals. Here's the money shot. That's all I can say so far. You can actually see my face is smiling. I've been waiting for this for a hot, hot moment. It's finally here. It's finally on the car. Yeah, you have to book your appointment now. Six months in advance. Yep. So it's been here in the port for about, <laughs> about a whole year. It's just, you know. just been sitting out at the docks. Yeah, we're almost done here. And again, so appreciative of the guys here at BCD. Always treat your boy right here. Well, after we, well, let's lock everything in. Did you say that? Remember that four of these mounts, one here. And there. Oh, you need a, um, there. Can you push them together? There. Make sure you got all four on nice and secure. Here, here. This? Spoon exhaust push doesn't have any type of adjustable hinges or anything like that. It comes ready to go. Pretty centered on the exhaust. I mean, it's pretty centered. It looks great so far. We haven't cleaned it up yet. Now making sure that everything's <laughs> nice and tight. And remember, just loosely tighten things on. That way you can, you know, maneuver it. Every but you know, this is a special kid. Gotta make sure spoon certifies it. I know, for real. All right, boys. Exhaust is on. Just doing the final wipe down. Nice little tip here. I know we've used that Meguiar's Quick Detailer to wipe down the titanium inlet pipe for smudges and all that. We're using today here at the shop, we're using just plain old alcohol and a nice clean rag just to make sure we take off any fingerprints, anything that once we start the motor, don't burn fingerprints and oil smudges all along the exhaust. Even though we're never gonna see this guy again, just wanna make sure the bad boy's clean.
is the real meat of the video right here. This, this is what all this video is about. Corgi's playing.